Well, fruit and veggie season is here and Chef Nicole is putting together a combo that will brighten any table or patio. We're serving up charcuterie for today's Taste of the Ozarks. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taste of the Ozarks. We are in summer fruit season and this is my favorite time of year. I love peaches and tomatoes and blackberries and all of these wonderful things that really are only in season for a short time in the Ozarks. And we're gonna use most of them in this recipe along with my new favorite ingredient, which is burrata. So we'll go ahead and get started here with our, our board. This is kind of a salad slash board in one. We are gonna put some baby spinach and arugula down as a bed for our board here. And this is really going to kind of catch all of the flavors and give us kind of a secondary component to our dish. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting up our summer fruit. Now I have tomatoes, peaches, blackberries, and cherries here. And yes, I'm counting tomatoes as a fruit, but we'll start with our peaches. You want a, a nice colorful peach, but one that when you push in, kind of leaves your indention and your fingerprint there without sinking through immediately. And we are using freestone peaches in this recipe. And what that means is that I can cut around the edge of this peach and turn it and the stone just comes out freely. Now there's also cling peaches where the stone stays in there. You don't have to use one particular kind over the other. The nice thing about freestone peaches is they're just much easier to cut up and get that pit out of. Then we're gonna cut this into some nice slices here. There's a lot of orchards in the area who are, are getting into pe fresh peach season and go and support those local farms for sure. We're gonna do two rows of our peaches along the sides here. And you kinda wanna cut everything into close to bite-sized pieces so that if you wanna eat this with a fork, you can. You can also take this, this tray, this salad, and eat it with some nice crusty grilled bread. However you wanna go about it is just fine. So we'll get our peaches on there. And next we'll go with our tomatoes. There is really nothing like fresh summer tomatoes in a salad, honestly, just with a little salt and pepper by themselves, however you wanna do it, but these tomatoes are wonderful. And I know you're thinking peaches and tomatoes sound kinda of weird together, but the creaminess of the burrata really just brings this recipe together in the most beautiful way. Here's the rest of our tomato here. For those of you who are lucky enough to get a good tomato crop this summer, this is a great way to use up some of your fresh tomatoes. Now we are going to take our burrata. Now burrata is fresh mozzarella cheese with, with thick cream in the center of it. And it pairs so well with so many things. You can see there's that nice creamy center there. And we just kind of want to nestle that right in between all of these. Burrata just adds an absolutely wonderful flavor. You can get it at a lot of the grocery stores kind of in the specialty cheese section. We're going to take some blackberries and put it right down the center here. And then I've got some cherries where I have cut out the pit and cut them in half. I'm gonna line those up along these sides here as well. And then we've got mostly sweet here and we wanna balance it with a little bit of salty and then also a little bit of protein. So we've got some prosciutto that I kinda of cut into smaller pieces and folded up. So we're gonna push our prosciutto into here kind of next to all that fruit and prosciutto goes so well with everything that's on this tray. And then lastly, to dress it, we're gonna give it just an extremely simple dressing of just some really good olive oil, drizzled over all of our ingredients here, and then some kosher salt, particularly focusing on the tomatoes and the burrata, but a little over everything, and then just some nice coarse ground black pepper. And this is your dish. It's beautiful, it's delicious, it has all of those wonderful summer flavors. This is awesome for brunch, lunch, dinner, a snack, a party, a cookout, any of them. One of my favorite meals this summer. Give it a try and we'll see you guys next time on Taste of the Ozark.